Hey guys, Blackwing2040 here, and I decided to share something with you guys. I'm gonna um derive my perspectives. I'm gonna be today's video. I'm gonna be saying the top ten. Hold up, that's yeah, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The top ten heroes I would work with. Now. I wanted to expand my horizons. I mean, I've been doing the same stuff over and over, so it would be nice if I could um do some new stuff with you guys. And hold on, let me move the camera. There we go. Yeah, so top ten superheroes, and I will be sharing you. I'll be going from top, I mean from ten to one, and I'll be giving any media um or comic um in search of why I would um work with that hero. Now since my character name is Blackwing and Blackwing is actually both a DC and a Marvel character. One, I did not know Blackwing was a character in DC back in the olden days and I never knew that. Two, Blackwing is a name of a daredevil villain and I didn't know that either. So basically the 2040 is the only thing that makes the thing original. Just the 2040. And since I'm both a Marvel and DC fan, I will be, you know, saying why I will work with that hero. So, let's begin, shall we? Number 10, Deadpool. Now, Deadpool, he may be Mr. Blabbermouth all the time, but when it comes to combat and everything, slice, dice, bang, ba bang, bang, bang. Deadpool. That's all you get from Deadpool. I mean, I would love to work with Wade Wilson. As long as he just... Like, you guys you guys remember that episode from Ultimate Spider-Man where Deadpool was just taking over the whole show and then he tried to tell um Spider-Man that we're gonna K-word um, the members. I mean, the assassins. We're gonna K-word them. And like, like, I'm Blackwing. I do not kill. But, of course, he would. I'll find a way to work him out. Even though he may be in charge, I'll find a way to work. But for Deadpool, I think he might make me wear a crazy costume that looks like his. But that's not going to happen. Because Blackwing doesn't play that. But, yes. Let's just say Deadpool will be at the bottom of my list. But combat skills and everything are great. Uh, um, Communication-wise, he can't shut up at all. Alright, number nine. Wolverine. Snit snit. Now, Wolverine has always been my favorite X-Men character. Next to Nightcrawler, of course. But, I would love to work with with Wolverine someday. I mean, if I could help him take down um Cyclops... I mean, not Cyclops. Woo! Sabretooth. Sabretooth. If I could help him take down Sabretooth, I'll, I'll show him what I got. If he could give me... If he could lend me a little adamantium stuff into my system, I'll be able to show a little snip snip on Sabretooth. So, Sabretooth, I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. But yes, I would definitely work with Wolverine. Wolverine, Wolverine is my number nine hero. Now, number eight, Iron Man. Now, if I wanted to work with Iron Man, of course, he definitely needs to make me a suit. I will ask. I will ask him, Tony. I would like to work with you someday. I mean, I'm working with you today, and and he will be like, okay, Jarvis, prepare Black Wing a suit. On it, sir. <laughs> Boom. You have a suit based on my persona, and I would definitely love to fly around. Who doesn't love to fly around in a heavily armored armored suit? That is the amazing part right there. I mean, Iron Man is, he's one of my favorites. One of my favorite Marvel Super. Alright, number seven, Superman. Now, guys, all you Superman, fan, Superman fans out there, don't hate me for this. I love Superman as much as you guys do, even though I prefer Batman than Superman. But I love him, I still love him. Now, Superman, he, I'm, and I am Blackwing. I'm Blackwing since I don't have any powers. I would... Or he could give me um one of those um potions. Remember, you guys remember from Super All Star Superman when he gave um 
Lois, I think it was a type of some. He gave her a liquid that were, that made her have powers for 24 hours, and it was a birthday present. I was maybe if Superman gave me powers like those, I would actually enjoy it. Except I'll just have to update myself with um. I'll be doing every. I'll be using the flight and the super strength. No heat. Vi no heat vision. I'll probably. I, if my. If I did have a power to work with Superman, I'll use it to summon bats. Like I will have a a sonar. I think a sonar scream similar similar to Black Canaries. <laughs> All right. That's yeah. Superman's number seven. Number six. The Incredible Hulk. Now Hulk, the Green Goliath. Who wouldn't want to work with Hulk? I mean, I would. I wouldn't mind if you just lend me some of that gamma radiation, put that in my system. I would mostly work with the. I prefer the Mark Ruffalo version of Hulk. I mean, the Incredible Hulk, the 2008 film was okay. 2003, uh, no, not really. I mean, I like how they they tried the design for him. They actually got the purple shorts and the green skin. So that was good. But I'd rather work with Mark, the uh, Mark Ruffalo Bruce Banner. So he's Mark Ruffalo is my favorite, um, Incredible Hulk, and, and basically I would love to help him take down Red Hulk because Red Hulk thinks he's stronger. Wait till me and Hulk teach him a lesson. I'll do. I'll give him what um Hulk did to Loki. Give him a little. What should What should I say? Puny, puny general, because Red Hulk is General Ross. What should I call? That's what I say. Puny general. <laughs> All right, S number yes yeah, six is Hulk. Number five, Spider Man. Spider Man was my Spider Man was my very first superhero I ever heard about when I was young when I was younger. So basically, my first ever superhero TV show I ever watched was actually S Spider Man the animated series. Which was a pretty, it was a really good show. And then he had so many other shows after that. Um, Spider-Man Unlimited, which I don't understand why it has 13 episodes. The final episode just, ugh. But the show was good. I liked having how they had Venom and Car Carnage in there. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man, which that show was amazing. Ultimate Spider-Man, who doesn't? That show is still go still going on. Season three will be coming out soon. And um. Spider-Man has a good rogues gallery. I mean, Green Goblin is one of my Green Goblin, Doc Ock, Venom, and Carnage are like my top favorite Super Spider-Man villains. I would definitely help out Spidey one day, and to take out a couple of a, a couple of his goons. Of course, I would if he's gonna be swinging around New York. I'm gonna need like a wing pack to just you know get through the city. He sw he web slings. I'll I'll use a jet pack to fl fly me over. So Spider-Man is number five. Number four, the Flash. Fla now, what Flash I will work with? Barry Allen. Barry Allen has been my all-time favorite Flash. I mean, I have some respects from for Wally from Justice League, Young Justice. Well, actually, I never knew um the Flash in Justice League was actually Wally. I thought it was Barry the whole time until like they unmask himself. They unmask unmask each other and I find out oh it is Wally <laughs> so I would rather work with Bar Barry I mean Flash I mean Wally does take his job seriously in a comedic way but Barry is more serious sticks up for the greater good and I love to take down some of the rogues I mean the rogues especially Captain Cold if he thinks he could use if he thinks he could use his cryokinesis on me and Flash he's got another thing coming so Shout out to the whole rogue army. Me and Flash are coming right after you. Alright, number three, Green Lantern. Now, I would, the Green Lantern I would work with is Jon Stewart. Jon Stewart is my favorite Green Lantern. I read the, I read a, I read some of the comics with him in there, and even though Jon was my first Green Lantern I saw on TV, I thought, he, I thought, I seriously thought Jon was the only Green Lantern out there until like the 2011 movie came out. I find out it's Hal Jordan, and then there's Guy Gardner, Guy Gardner, and then Kyle Rayner. So I find out there's more, more than one human Earth Green Lantern. So I thought John was the first, but John will will be my first, and I would love to 
work with him. If he could just, if you lend me a ring, I'll, I'll definitely teach some intergalact, intergalactic scums a lesson by showing them not some fear. Because if I, if I was showing them fear, I'd be along with Sinestro. But no, I stick for Will and for the greater justice. I sh I'll show Sinestro a thing or two about fear. I wonder if I can actually make a construct of bats, like a swarm of bats construct. That could, that might work. All right, number two. You guys already know number two is Batman. Now I'll explain this. There are two. I have two Pacific Batman, Batman, <laughs> Batman, Batmans. Whatever you want to say it. I have two particular Bat, Batman characters in here. Bruce Wayne will be second because I love you gotta love working with Bruce. He's cool. He's cool. He's very respectful, and he wants the best for his teammates. I prefer if I would work with him. He would be a great colleague to work with. I mean, who doesn't who doesn't want to work with Bat? He's freaking Batman for Pete's sake. Bat. I mean, if he act, I know no one touches the Batmobile except for Batgirl. But. I would have dibs on the Batway. I would be flying that thing through Gotham City night by night, scouring the city. So, Joker, prepare for a battering to the face. And my number one hero I will work with is, drumroll please, Batman Beyond. Now, don't tell me you guys do not remember watching Batman Beyond when it was on Cartoon Network and Kids WB. Batman Beyond will always be my top favorite Batman of all time. I mean, the whole, the whole concept of the show, it was just so, wow. I mean, I remember watching the movie Return of the Joker when I was younger, until I, di I didn't get the whole plot sense to it, and then I'm watching it now. I get what it's all about. I get what the whole show is. It's it's like when you're watching a TV show when you're younger. You don't get the whole thing. You're just watching it because you want the good guys to always win. And then when you get older, as you develop, you find out the whole plot sense to it. You find out what the heroes are for and what the villains are for. Basically, this Batman was he wants to he wants to make up for all of his failures that he that he was. So I I could re I could relate to that. Terry McGinnis is 17, I'm 16, I wouldn't mind working with him, and I love the futuristic Batmobile. It, I mean, it flies for Pete's sake, there are no... Well, technically, there are some driving cars and with wheels in that future. But most, there are most, you see mostly flying cars in the show. But definitely, Batman Beyond, it's like, his whole suit is a gadget. It's like, there's gadgets all, everywhere on that thing. You got explosives around the belt. Um, shurikens that, I mean, sure, yeah, shurikens that come out of the wrist, batarangs that actually come out of the wrist, electric batarangs, wing pack with rocket boosters, um, camouflage, a camouflage, um, device, it's just, there's, there's so much gadgets on that thing, it's like, I would def, I would def, if Bruce can make me a suit similar to Terry's, I'll be happy to work with him, so, Yes, so those are my top ten superheroes I will work with. But if you want to put them in um um category or order, not category, team order, Marvel and DC, I would put Deadpool number ten, Wolverine number nine. I mean, I mean Deadpool number five, Wolverine number four, Iron Man three, Hulk number two, and Spider Man number one. And for DC, Superman will be five, Flash will be four. Green Lantern will be three, Batman will be two, and of course Batman Beyond will be one. So those are my top ten superheroes I will work with. It'd be amazing if you actually had superheroes in real life to actually just quit your normal life and just live the life of a hero instead of just being, you know. I mean, you gotta adjust being normal, but who doesn't love being a superhero? So I want to hear from you guys. What, what, um. What top 10 heroes do you want to work with? You can put them in the com comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I am vengeance. I am darkness. I am Blackwing. That's, that was my Cameron Conroy impression of I am Batman. <laughs> but you guys get the idea. Alright guys, so don't forget. 
and stay golden. See you later.